This is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics here in Green, Iowa. And today we're checking out a 1968 Mustang convertible. This is a great car too. Beautiful colors, great year for the Mustang. Nice dual exhaust. peek at that interior too. Got the full console, beautiful wood grain. I really like how the, the colors on this car come together just make it a classy ride. Yeah, check this out, doll. It's got factory tilt wheel. I mean, that's pretty damn rare in 1968. Makes Another nice. thing to point out on a tilt wheel, most of the time they're like super sloppy because they're old. This one's not bad at all. No, nice nice and, tight. and tight. Pretty car. Yeah, one other thing I'll get to a little bit real quick. Um, that dual exhaust system is brand new. We ordered one from Summit. Uh, Brant put it on, did a fantastic job. So we just did the dual exhaust. Sounds nice. What do you think of this color? I love it. Yeah, I really like it as well. Nice, like, what, what do you call this? It's a burgundy yeah. sort. Um, in 19, I'm trying to think what they called it in uh, 66, 67. I'm impressed by the engine compartment on this thing. Hey, how about air? And a convertible makes it off the nice too. Power sharing, air, power brakes, tilt wheel, very highly optioned car. It's got the deluxe hood on it as well with the turn signals up there. Um, the same guy that uh, restored the 1971 convertible that we just did, did this one too. They were both done in the last two years. Uh, we bought both cars from him in a package deal and uh, just a great running driving car. A little uh, 289. Uh, this is a two barrel as well. 289 two barrel, left them both kind of stock. Engine compartment looks good. Um, no rust holes or, or bubbles or nothing like that up here. No, nothing super like that. We did go ahead and um, get some photos of the undercarriage and this little convertible is super solid. Nice frame rails, floor pans, trunk extensions. It's a good solid car. Vintage burgundy is what I was calling, but that's 66. So I'm not sure exactly what they're calling this at 68. We'll have to, uh, I'm sure Shady coded it. Yeah, and be on the website. You know, when he restored these cars, as I mentioned the other one, he took them to really nice cruise night, local car show quality cars. They're not rotisserie restorations, ones that you're gonna be scared of to drive. I mean, these are gorgeous and they're ready to go. You know, something you can drive and enjoy and uh, not worry about parking it somewhere. But he did a great job on the gaps. Um, back side of the hood is, is nice on both sides. Lays down there to the fender um, really nicely. Same thing here with the cowl matches up nice to the top of the door, top of the fender. They're the type of cars that kind of everyone wants. They want a beautiful car that they can be proud of, but they don't want a, a necessarily perfect uh, trailer queen and something that costs what a trailer queen costs. They just want something just like this they can take to their show and be proud of. And, yeah. Yeah, and you gotta start with a solid car. And both of these little convertibles that this gentleman did were both nice solid cars to start with. And uh, to me, that's what's most important. Gaps are really good here. Uh, front bumper's nice. It's got the horse and corral looks good. Looks like they did all new trim around the, uh, the grill. Uh, grill's new, valance is good. And these 68s, uh, whether they're a fastback, convertible, or a coupe, I mean, 67 and 8s are really my favorite Mustangs. Obviously, the fastbacks are, are, are my favorite, but then the convertibles look really great, too. Uh, it's got the uh, Magna 500-style wheels, BFG raised white letter tires, tire tread looks good. Marker lights have been replaced, it looks like. The front edge of the door fits absolutely beautiful. The gap's nice, lines up nicely. It does have the new wheel well trim on it, which really looks good. It's got the chrome decor package as well. A uh, door handle's new. Door's nice, and it's got the little, um, it doesn't have the C-stripe on it, but if you wanna add that, you definitely could. It goes right up in here, and it's got the little chrome in there like it's supposed to have for 1968. No bubbles or blisters anywhere here. It's got BFGs all the way around. A little different tire tread on the back ones versus the front. 
Um, tail light lenses are really nice. The, uh, the little chrome pieces around the edge have a few, they're shiny and nice. Jay's polished them all, but there's a few little pits in those. So if a guy wants to, you know, you could replace them, you know, kind of a Christmas present or something like that, a little, just to make it a little better. The uh, dual exhaust, like I said, is brand new. The gas lid is in excellent shape. That looks like that's been replaced as well. As we open up the door jams, it looks to me like original paint in the door jam still. If it's not original, it's definitely older. You can see here, like I said, if it's originally a burgundy car, then it's the original paint, the way it looks to me. Um, interior also looks original. Uh, just has just enough wear, you see here in the wood grain, um, to uh, show it being original. It's got the, I'm guessing it's the deluxe interior with the grab handles and the wood grain, huh? Yep. So a nice, highly optioned car. It's got the factory console, AM, FM radio, gauges. Even the deluxe as far as the uh, wood grain and the steering wheel, door panels, dash, and that all looks excellent. Uh, 78,335 miles. Judging by the condition of this original interior and the floor pans and stuff, I'm pretty sure this is an original 78,000 mile car. What do you think? Very well could be. Even the carpet, I mean, that's not new carpet by any means. You can just see that, you see how the loops are just a little bigger and just a little fuzzy back there? Um, Jay spent a ton of time cleaning this original interior up and it really looks nice. It hasn't, doesn't have that bad sun fade like a lot of them would. You can tell it's been kept inside a lot. I don't really see much for chips. There was one little spot and I walked by it and I didn't even see it again this time, but yeah, right here, a couple of tiny little scratches, right? Right in this area, right there. And there's a little, a little ding here in the trunk, but very small. Nice black top, power top as well, which is nice. You got the right switch on it yet, D? Uh, yeah. Factory power top, and look at that. It's got a little top that you pull out on that one. As Dalton goes ahead and buckles that up, we're talking about the, the rear quarter here is in excellent shape. No bubbles or blisters anywhere around the wheel wells, all nice. Again, paint in the door jams appears to be original. You can see that right here. It's got the factory tag in there. Panel's nice, again, the deluxe down here, as far as the interior goes. I'm going in and out of the seats in excellent shape. Uh, no bubbles or blisters, lower fender, door, rocker, all looks excellent. You gonna go ahead and put some windows up to here? Yeah. And for a bigger guy in a Mustang, that tilt wheel is really nice. Here's your factory air conditioning stuff here, 78,335. A remote mirror is another option that this little Mustang convertible has. Go ahead and go through the gauges and stuff like that. Starts really nice. There's your factory top control. FM radio with auxiliary works. Uh, it's got the factory speaker in there. Oil pressure is really good. Um, that gauge works, gas gauge, alternator gauge works. Not sure on the temperature gauge yet. We haven't had it running quite long enough for that to come up. There's your heater fan. On a day like today, we don't need the air. We'll take it down here to warm. Um, probably go to defrost, so we'll put it on low. Windows go up okay, Dalton? Yeah. Another thing I kind of failed to point out, um, I talked about the uh, some of the rubbers here, the door jams and stuff like that, like the roof rail rubber, this little rubber here, these are all original still. See how that's kind of a little hard there? That's 100% original, which also tells me that 
you know, with the jams not being re resprayed and the re interior interior being original, that it's a seventy eight thousand mile car. Here's another thing that's pretty cool. Look at that. The indicator lights still work, which that doesn't happen very often. Um, it's got the little speakers down here too. I didn't talk about that. It's had aftermarket kick panels with the speakers. Listen to how that goes in gear. Nice, quiet, idle. Turn signal works on the right side of the hood. Left side, I'm guessing it's just a bulb, but not working. What else do we got with the XY? One thing I like, I prefer in the 68s and the 67s is the steering wheel. I like the steering wheel better in the 68s and the 7s. You the do? 7s had that big. Yeah, and this with the Deluxe is really nice as well. Really nice shift on this one. Again, a uh, small block, two barrel, just like the one in the 71, and that one impressed us, didn't it? It did. Beautiful shift. Speedometer works well. We're doing about, uh, it says we're doing about, well, about 50, 55. It might be a little off, Dalton. It might be reading about five or 10 slow. It feels to me like we're doing about 60 and it's reading 50. Passing gear works nice. Yeah, it goes down the road nice and for a convertible, it seals up pretty well too. It really does. Yeah, see this front seal here is really quiet. Yeah. The 71 had a little leak there and that you can see that seal there was all that needed. Um, here's where the air is coming in just a little bit and this is where these have shrunk a little see that yeah but pretty quiet for a convertible but you can just see there's just a little gap there from that hardened rubber you can't expect a, a classic convertible to, to seal up perfect and be watertight you know and even from the factory you couldn't take these things through a car wash I expect you know exactly we we're going 75 mile an hour right there that transmission kicks sound great shifts really nice and quiet back up to third i'm impressed with this one that's yeah, a nice car check it out on the website coyoteclassics.com i'll put a link down in the comment section um, of this video take you right to the website if you have any questions give us a call uh, but until then see you next time